Hi everyone, I'm Ed Chen, Director of Development for Construction, and today we're going to take a look at the Explode mode and Part Select. From the main menu here, we can see we've started off with a pretty basic M4 carbine. What we're going to want to do now is actually explode it out so we can swap the parts. Clicking this button, we break the gun down into its major components. Now let's say we wanted to change a magazine. We click on the Magazine button. From here we enter Part Select mode. Part Select mode shows us a list of all the parts offered in construction. From here we can browse the catalog and select different things from Surefire mags to P mags and so forth. We have some neat features in here like filter. So say we wanted to grab only a Magpul Industries 20 round magazine and apply that filter. We'd only been shown the magazines that fit within those parameters. We'll go ahead and grab the black P mag. As with all parts in construction, if we wanted to, we can view more info on the part. So let's go ahead and select this. This will apply it to the gun. We'll see the total amount change, and if we go back, we'll see that we now have the PMAG. We also support bundles. Bundles are basically a collection of parts like you would buy from a dealer. Um, in this instance, we'll go ahead and change out the entire lower. If we click this plus button, that indicates that we want to select parts at a bundle level. This will enter us into bundle part select mode. Let's say we want a bundle with a fixed A2 stock. Here we can see that it changed out all the parts and changed our price. We can also look at info, which will again show us a list of all the parts included in the bundle, MSRP, and a link back to the dealer for more information. Let's go ahead and select this. Now we can see the gun is changing pretty dramatically. Let's go ahead and change out this handguard. Just like in real life, parts in construction will actually conflict, meaning that you wouldn't be able to assemble them. Handguards is a good example of that, where many things can cause a handguard not to fit. To try to ease that whole process, we have this hide incompatible button right here. If you check this, basically we'll filter out all the handguards that wouldn't fit in this scenario and leave you only with handguards that will fit. For example, the carbine Mo Grip. All the filters also work. Let's go ahead and grab a Quadro. If you're using construction and you try to force a part that won't work, you still can. However, it'll go red and show you that there's a conflict involved. Here we can see that there's a conflict between the barrel and the pistol length gas tube. If you want to remove a part, we also allow you to do that. If for some reason you didn't want a muzzle device, you can simply remove it. As you can see, it's pretty fast and easy to come in here and customize any gun you'd like. And again, we have bundle selects, even at smaller levels. For example, you could select a bolt carrier bundle, which will include the bolt carrier and the bolt itself. Or, if you wanted to, you could hand select the bolt and the bolt carrier. That pretty much wraps up the explode and part select mode. Thank you.